All right, so it's actually not nighttime. It's literally 11 a.m. and I'm making this video. Um, I just felt inspired for real, and I've been getting so much love on my last like few videos. So I just want to say thank you guys so much. Thank you all so much because it's, it's not just guys, but it's not even just my last videos. I just been getting so much love on this channel, bro. Like I remember I made this channel and I had like no subscribers. I just made it with a dream and a hope to one day like be a successful YouTuber. And honestly, at a thousand five hundred subscribers, I'm at one point four eight. I'm successful because yeah, I literally celebrated when I got to 1,000 subscribers, and now I'm almost at. Am I almost at 2,000? Is that 2,000? Right? Because the 1.48 that means you're halfway to 2,000. So I'm almost at 2,000 subscribers. Like I've been growing exponentially. I don't think y'all understand. I've had this channel since I was 11 years old, bro. 11 years old. I think I made it when I was 11. I had like a bunch of other channels, but this is like my main channel that I've had since I was 11 years old. So I've been putting in work, I ain't gonna lie, like, it was not as consistent as it is now, but I've been, like, on a progression to this. So, yeah, today, I'm gonna talk about my experience being trans and also being Christian. So, not my name Christian, like, Christian, like, like, believing in, uh, Christ, like, you know what I'm saying, the Christian, but anyways, you understand. So, I'm gonna take it back, originally, let's take it back. So, I grew up, uh, going to church, I actually went to private school. I went to Gethsemane Baptist Christian School. I can say that name. I really don't care now. I don't go there. You're not going to go stalk me there if you, you know what I mean? I don't go there. But I went to Gethsemane Baptist Christian School. I was there for about, since I was, I was there from the time I was five to the time I was 14 or 13. So that's eight years. So eight years of my life. I was like, in, right, eight years? Eight plus five is 13. Yeah. I was there for eight years, bro. Consecutive eight years. And... You can imagine if like like I absorbed it, and not everyone that like, goes to Christian school like absorbs it either. But like I actually absorbed it because I liked I liked it. The vibe was fun. That's really where I learned a lot about myself. As in like what I like to do, I learned how to like write poetry there. Well, I didn't learn how to write poetry, but I realized that I like to write poetry. Like they had fine arts competitions, and like a lot of inclusive stuff, or like a lot of creative stuff was just there. Like a lot of ways to express yourself, and I really 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 am thankful that my parents put me there. Like I was able to express myself musically, like piano lessons i was able to sing that's where i just learned my love for like uh progressions and like melodies and all that so thank you to my parents for putting me there because i did that school did have a lot of expressive ways for me to like you know and i honestly did love learning about like the bible and just about like the history in that way um because you know it it doesn't have to be a one-size-fits-all thing like you can apply i feel like i don't know i could take a lot of the stuff i learned from there and apply it to my life now it's not even just about like being able to quote Bible verses word for word, it's like just the 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 rules, I guess, or the like the morals that were kind of instilled into me. They kind of teach you how to not be a terrible person, you know, like they don't want you like killing people, cussing all the time, you know what I mean? Doing like some, you know what I mean? But there's some stuff I didn't really listen to, like the don't wear pants, everything. As soon as I went home, maybe I put on my sweatpants because I had to wear skirts. So like as soon as I went home, I'll put on pants, but, like little things like that. But like everything else, um, I, I listen to you feel me. So yeah, that's where I kind of got my like grounding in being a Christian. And I kind of, you know, I don't think it was there really where I really got my connection with God though, a hundred percent because I was a kid. So it was kind of more like, oh, they're telling me I should, I should love God and you know, know God. So I guess I'll know God. But when I like got out of there and I went to public school, uh, it was honestly after public school. I feel like I really got close. Like God has always been with me, but I feel like I realized God was with me, with me, with me. Like, after I got out of high school, maybe like 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Like, in my tw when I got to 20, I feel like, because it was just me, right? I was just not in high school. Nobody was telling me to love God, nothing. Like, I had to, if I wanted to have a relationship with God, I had to get it myself. So, when you're not pressured to it, you really figure out if you want it or not, right? Like, no one is forcing me to go to church. No one is forcing me to read my Bible. No one is forcing me to pray. Nobody is doing anything, right? So, yeah, I just I just started longing for like that connection with God and when I yeah, like when I was twenty, like I'm twenty four now and like my relationship with God is like just different than it used to be because like now I I, I feel God in a way that it's just different because I was actively seeking God. You feel me? Like when you ask you shall receive. So like I would just be just seeking God and experiences and like I'll be like, yo, this is God. Like there's no like things would happen and I'll be like, there's no other explanation for this besides God. Like I would just feel God's spirit like within me. So 
Okay, so I want to get back to the prompt, which is my experience being trans and being Christian. So I guess a lot of people assume that, oh, if you're trans, you can't love God or you can't be Christian or like those two don't go together. And I think that in itself is super harmful because why do people that are LGBTQ get excluded from having a relationship with the one that created us all? Like we all get that by default and having it and telling someone else that they that they're cut off from experiencing that is absurd because you're not God to tell somebody else that God is not with them. You know what I mean? Like that's just so that's like the most contradictory thing I've ever heard in my life. When Christians feel like they have the authority to dominate and be like, God, well, they say Jesus loves you, but you need to repent. Baby, if Jesus wanted me to repent, Jesus would tell me, Jesus would tell me, uh, live and direct, baby, live and direct. Because that same, like, people forget that the same connection you have with God, I also have that same capability and ability. And I also have that, I got the same phone number to God as you. You feel me? Like, I have the same phone number to God as you. And me telling, and, and then I'll even tell people, like, I'll tell people that just being trans Okay, I've gotten I've gotten the most the most thing that irritates me the most, and I think it's because I don't like it when people second guess my own relationship with God. People will say, "Oh, the devil! This is the devil's will." Oh my God! Like like get that like don't don't say that around me, bro. Like, oh, you're you're like this because the devil you need to repent. And it's like, why would you want to? I don't I don't I don't understand people's logic, bro. Like looking at somebody and being like, "You're like that's the devil." You know what I mean? Especially uh, the trans community and the LGBT community is just like the devil is just tied to it. Like I cannot tell you the amount of times someone has told me like I'm demonic or I'm the devil or the LGBT community we're all going to hell. Like okay, like I don't feel like that. And honestly, here's another thing. I think I've learned to have a, such a strong relationship with God and I'm able to talk about God openly and not feel shame or not feel like I'm gonna go to hell because who? humans other humans cannot tell me i know what's up like y'all we gotta know what's up for ourselves other humans we're all humans what makes another human think that they got they got the magic the magic sauce to tell us oh you're going to hell you don't even know you could be going to hell like don't try to tell me that you feel me like if you're not god if you're not sent from god to like i don't want to hear it like i don't want to hear it because i me and you have the same power when it comes to god god has given us all that same you feel me? If we're all in this together and we're all under God's power, we all have that same capability. So no one is above another trying to tell somebody what they are or what they're not. So I really just had to debunk that for myself. I used to be like, oh, my God. Like, I used to be like, oh, my God, I'm going to go to hell. Like, oh, my God. Like, what am I doing? Like, God is never going to see me. Like, I used to be it when it was so hard because I wanted to be myself. Like, I, this is just me. But at the same time, I was like, oh, my God, like. My family's, my family's disowning me. God's probably disowning me. The church disowns me. Everyone disowns me. Like, I felt like that. I felt alone. I felt shamed, guilty. But eventually, I just had to be like, why would God put something in me this strong and be blessing me so much? And I'm getting so much joy, happiness. I'm glowing. Look at me. I'm on YouTube talking, speaking my truth. Why would God put this in me if it was wrong? It's not like I'm a murderer. People might love to come and come and say well you're mutilating your body ah, da, 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 da. god made you perfect why are you touching your body and let me say something to that god made me perfect period me doing anything to my body surgically medically changing the clothes that i wear that does not discount god making me perfect do you understand what i'm saying like that's like you trying to tell somebody that has asthma god made you perfect don't use that inhaler Like, if you can't breathe, baby, use the inhaler because God created other people that are gifted to be able to help these things. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, I feel like this is my mindset now. Like, I used to think, like, oh, my God, I got top surgery. Oh, my God, I'm wearing, like, masculine clothes. Oh, my God, I'm defying what I'm supposed to be. I'm not a girl. I'm not the perfect girl. What God would not, like, okay, let me say it like this. I believe God put people on this earth that have the ability to do things like surgeries, assistance, therapy. But I think people were certainly appointed to do that. I don't not, I don't think they're demonic. I don't think my surgeon is demonic. I think my surgeon was appointed by God to work on my body and make it even even to just continue the perfection. 
You see what I'm saying? To continue the perfection. I don't think it's a it's a hateful thing. I see it as like God made me perfect and God knows what I want and where I and God God knows my path. And this is part of the path. Does that does that make sense? Like it has nothing to do with being I used to be like <gasps> That's why I don't use the term, I'm in the wrong body, because I'm not lying. I'm not in the wrong body. This is the right body, 100%. 100% the right body. I'm just tweaking it the same way you, you work out, right? Somebody that works out. You work out. Does that mean God didn't create you perfect if you want to work out and grow your muscles? That's, that's how I see it. Like, God did not put us on this earth and say, stay like that forever. No. No. God put us on this earth and said, follow your path. And be okay with change. Adapt to change. Change is inevitable. You're going to change. Even if I didn't do anything to my body, I'm going to get older. I'm going to grow. I'm going to get bigger. I'm going to get stronger. I'm going to, you know what I mean? Like things are going to, I'm going to fluctuate. I'm going to change because that's what our bodies are made to do. And this is our bodies. But my spirit has remained the same. Whew. My spirit has remained the same. People look so much at our, at our body, 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 body. Like our body is just a vessel you know, that takes us around the world. But like, what about the spirit inside of me? You can't even see that. God can though. You can't see my, some people can't see the spirit. I guess you could, you could, you could feel the energy, feel the vibes. I can, you know, but don't just look at somebody's body and then discount them from being able to have a relationship with God. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't like that. But yeah, so basically to someone is up, I have a strong relationship with God. I can say I'm, I, I don't say I'm a Christian so much anymore, but I, I do that's probably the religion that I would go to. Like if I was going to go to a church, I'd probably go to like a Baptist or a Christian church. But I just don't. Again, if you watch my other videos, labels are not like my favorite thing. Like I don't think I should have to be like, well, oh, I'm Catholic. Well, oh, I'm Christian. Like I will if I, if in, you know what I mean? Because I guess it does have some influence because say if I want to read a Bible, I would usually get the King James Version Bible because that's like the Christian Bible compared to like a Catholic version or whatever. So you know, in those cases, I'll say I'm Christian, but I just believe, I just believe in God, the universe. I believe in spirituality. I believe in being a good person. I believe in like following that inner voice, which is God within all of us. I, I believe in like the real, the real stuff. Like, I don't want to get too caught up in labels. Like, I'm a Christian. You're not a Christian. You're a Muslim. You're like, no, like I believe what I believe. I have a strong foundation in God and I don't feel like I have to explain it to anybody for real either, which is like another like powerful point or place that i'm at right now like i don't feel like i have to explain to anybody like i will to my family i think especially my mom like my parents and stuff because they do care that i like have a relationship with god because they're my parents and they want me to have a relationship with god so i'm not alone and they know that like i'm tapped in you know so i'll explain that briefly but to like a regular person that's just going to tell me i'm the devil i'm demonic and i'm going to hell like oh i don't even have time because i don't i don't have the energy i do have the energy but do i want to spend it on you no because it's not, it's not, like when people hit you with that, they don't want to have their mind changed. They just want to continue to tell you why you're going to go to hell so they can feel better about themselves. So they feel like they're a good Samaritan and they're doing God's work. When in reality, God's work was maybe for them to just be quiet and maybe learn something about a new person instead of judging me and saying, and then just throwing religion on me and saying, I'm going to go to hell. That's not cute. I don't think God wants people to do that. I, I doubt God, and look, and there's people too that like save people, right? Or, or you know what I mean? Tell people like, hey, this is, I'll tell you about God. That's nice. If you see somebody lost and they need help, be like, hey, have you talked to God lately? That's cute. That's cute, you know? But you're going to go to hell. Talk to God, baby. That's not going to make nobody want to talk to God. And if they do, they're going to do it out of fear, not out of love. They're going to be like, oh my God, I'm going to go to hell. I got to talk to God. That's not cute. Instead of being like, hey, have you talked to God? Like, maybe that'll help. That's cute. And then they'll be like, oh my God, you're right. And then they go have, and then they start their journey taking to God. But telling somebody, yeah, you're going to go to hell. You're not right. Repent, repent, repent. Baby, that's not cute. And it don't work. I usually delete those comments or I ignore them. It's not cute. But anyways, you don't got to tell me to have a relationship with God. You could pray for me. You can say, you know, you could say positive things relating to God. Like, let's, let's be positive when it comes to God. It could be like, you know, God bless you. Like, you know, I look, this is the response. If you don't know how to like respond to trans people or just people that are other than you, I'm going to tell you something. You could be like, I'm not 100% sure. I don't have all the knowledge around this, but I pray that God protects you in whatever you do. Simple. And guess what? The person you just said that to will be protected in all they do. And it has no hate, nothing. It's literally just you sending, sending God's love over there. You know what I mean? That's way better than you being like, 
God, God hate like you can't be a spokesperson for God. Negatively, because I don't think God is negative, but you can if you're like, God loves you. I hope God will protect you. And even then, you're not being a spokesperson. You're just, you're, you're like, you're kind of like poking God to be like, hey, look at this person, help them there. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's that's my take. I I really hope people stop slam using religion as a way to slander trans people and all that. Because someone even asked this question, "Where's my experience being trans and Christian?" And I'm sure they asked the question because a lot of times people do not see the two coexisting people think if you're trans if you're gay if you're whatever if you're queer you cannot be religious you can't be christian you can't have a relationship with god and i'm living proof you can like i'm literally christian my name is christian like i'm so tapped in uh, i i'm so tapped in my my earring i literally i love crosses i have a cross tattoo i just i'm tapped in you see what i'm saying i'm, I'm tapped in so yeah i involve god in everything i literally love god i think god is the solution to everything duh literally prayer is powerful i pray about literally everything when i'm stressing i'd be worrying i'm like god just take it take the wheel take it take the wheel jesus take it take it you know what i mean like because it works and it's not just because i've been told to do that it's because it works when i pray about something you know i'm good you know literally like literally I, there's been instances where it's nothing else but god like i pray for oh god is powerful god is powerful god is powerful and anything financially god will help you spiritually god will help you you're worried god will help you you're sad god will help you you're angry god will help you you're lost god will help you you're you know what i mean you're lonely god will help you god will literally send you friend god will send you friends family a partner god will give it to you if you ask like my partner i ask god for that my friends i ask god for that you know like and then the, and then god too some things you don't even gotta ask for it they just appear you get more than you ask for it and that's just in god and it's just it's just like the same way you grow in the gym, the same way you grow, you grow in God. I make, I'm making this video because I trusted in God. Like sometimes, bro, I'd be like, ah, oh, I'll make a video. Like I'd be sad, like, oh, am I going to make a good video? And I'd be like, yo, God got you. God told, God wouldn't have told you to go make a video if it wasn't going to be, if it wasn't going to get you somewhere. You feel me? So like, it's just having faith in God, trusting God. And it's literally God is in your every day. Like God is in your daily. I just be saying little things to myself like, come on, we got this. God got you. Come on, we got this. God got you. And it, and it, and it be getting me through. It be getting me through. Like when I think I can't do it, God be getting me through. When I'm lost, God be getting me through. God be getting me through. Okay. God be getting me through. And I, I don't, there's no other explanation because I cannot do it by myself. It's God that be getting me through. Me, I, I be using my body to get there. But God be like in here, in here, in my soul, get me through. So, Yeah. Anyone out there, if you feel like you cannot have a relationship with God, that is cap. You absolutely can. You 100,000% can. You are the same as every other person. Do not let other people make you feel like you're so other that you're not even good enough for the person that created you. That's never going to happen. You are all. That is never going to happen. God is always there for you. God is always willing to accept you. God has already accepted you. The people that have issues accepting you, or other humans in this world. God never had an issue accepting you. That is not, God is not in that type of, God doesn't have that temperament, that mindset to be, hmm, should I accept them? Oh, they're trans? I think about it, I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, they're gay? I don't know how I feel about, them. God doesn't do that. God doesn't do that. That's that. This is society, this is the human experience. God doesn't do that, okay? I want y'all to know that. All right, but I'm gonna get off here. I hope I explained it pretty much, uh, summed it up well enough i think i did but yeah shout out to being daytime it's like can y'all tell the difference it's like brighter no it's like brighter no oh my god look at my painting see it was covered last time see it all right for real i'm gonna get off here y'all thank y'all for watching and thank you for the support i don't think y'all understand like we can really lift each other up for real bro like we can lift each other up if you want to think of if you think about making a channel make it i know someone said they want to make a channel make a channel we can literally lift each other up bro like the black trans community, the trans community, just the community. It doesn't you don't even gotta be trans, you don't even gotta be black, just the community of people. We can lift each other up. And I think it's about time because we need some other voices in this world. I love everyone's voice, but what what about us? You know what I mean? Like, I want us to have a lifted up voice and be talking about these things and destigmatizing being trans and being Christian at the same time. Like let's 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 be done with it. So yeah, y'all, I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.